Boss Hillman here with an encouraging word for you today from my devotional TGIF, Today God is First. Today's message is entitled, Precious Deaths, taken from Psalm 116, 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. The Bible often speaks of death as a requirement of living a life in Christ. This death is not a physical death, but a spiritual death. It is a death of the old so that the new can be raised. It is the life of Christ that is raised in us. However, this death can be painful if we do not choose to willingly allow this circumcision of heart to have its way. If we are not circumcised of heart, we do not enter into God's promises. Moses was called to deliver a people from slavery. But when he was about to return to Egypt to begin what God called him to do, God almost killed him. He had failed to take care of the details of obedience. In this case, it was that all the males in his family were to be circumcised. This oversight on Moses' part almost cost him his life. Imagine that. God prepared a man 40 years, and yet he was almost disqualified because of an oversight. At a lodging place on the way, the Lord met Moses and was about to kill him, but Zipporah took a flint knife cut off her son's foreskin and touched Moses' feet with it. None of us will ever enter the promised land of full blessing with God unless we have this same circumcision of heart. The psalmist above accurately describes the process of circumcising the heart. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, truly I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maidservant. You have freed me from my chains. Psalm 116, 15 and 16. We cannot be free to be God's servant until this death takes place in each of us. When this death takes place, we become free, free from the chains of sin that held us back from becoming completely his. Oh, what freedom there is when this death takes place. No longer are we held to the sin of materialism, fear, self-effort, or anxiety, for we are dead to these things. The Bible speaks of the seed that must die in order for it to spring up and give new life. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. The man who loves his life will lose it, while the man who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. John 12, 24. Each of us must ask the Lord if our seed has died, Is it in the ground now, yielding the fruit of brokenness before him? This is the great paradox of a life in Christ, the circumcision of heart and the death process. Ask God to free you to become all that he wants you to be today. You know, this is a paradox. We are to die, to live. We're to give, to receive. We're to go low, to go high. This is the kingdom economy. So I want to encourage you, if you've not really given over your life completely to the Lord. Why not do it today? Heavenly Father, we come to you today and we just give you all of ourselves to be Lord over every aspect of our life. We die to our old man and come alive new in Christ this day. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you prayed that prayer with me. Have a great day. Do you know why God made you? Do you know your purpose? Did you know there is a book in heaven with your name on it? Oss Hillman has created an informative resource called How to Discover Why God Made You that will help you discover the answers to these and more questions about purpose, calling, and God's will for your life. This downloadable resource is yours free by going to MyPurposeDownload.com. That's MyPurposeDownload.com.